morning. We are starting our day walking along the little pier right by our hotel. We are staying by Marina Piccolo, which we did a whole tour of our hotel in our last video. Make sure you go look at that. It's amazing. We actually booked a kayaking tour last minute mm -hmm. to go around Sorrento, and we are going to go to this little cove. It's called Regina Giovanna Bath. And I actually found it when I was looking up things to do here, yeah. like an hour before we found this kayaking tour. They just happened to go there. So I was like, okay, this is meant to be. We're just walking around the coastline now, looking at some of the boats and stuff. just started heading towards our kayak excursion. Um, it's just down the beach side. It's about a 20 minute walk from our hotel. You can really tell how clear the water is from up here. Multiple shades of teal, it's so beautiful. I wanna be somebody on one of those blue things right now. We've made a quick little stop at Piazza del Vittoria. It is just a nice green park area. It has a beautiful view of the sea. is attributed to 4th and 5th century BC Greek builders. So this gate is 2,500 years old right here. When we first walked through it, we didn't know what it was. And I was like, this this feels really old. Like just think about how many people have walked through here. And then I found it on Google and it said 4th or 5th century BC. We have another beautiful view of Vesuvius from here. It's a volcano that erupted and buried Pompeii, which is where the famous Pompeii name came from. It buried the town in ash. We've made it to our kayak spot. We got our dry bag, our phone bag, and the GoPro, so we're all ready to go. We're ready. Are you ready? I'm so ready. We're double kayaking it, and uh, we're experienced kayakers. We have actually posted a lot of kayaking videos, now that we think about it, so basically this is right up our alley. <laughs> we love kayaking. So far, about three people have flipped, and we're planning on not flipping at all. We're in. Should be really fun. Roman house on the sea. It is a natural pool and we stop there. We turn around there and we go in, in a private beach. Look at that wave coming. Whoa. We're getting the wakes from the boats that are out today. Definitely recommend uh, getting to see Sorrento from the water. Into. It's very busy here. Hey, what a beautiful 
little area, kind of secluded back here. come to a second little cove. Um, this is a private beach though, so we're actually not allowed to walk up there, <laughs> but we're kind of swimming in the water. We're on the rocks. It's very beautiful. I'm the king. You're the king. <laughs> the kayak king. The kayak king. Back there, that little shadow is Capri Island. And then we've actually kayaked to the end of Sorrento. He said, like the end of the main area of Sorrento. watermelon slushy and some paninis because all that kayaking has made us very very hungry I get, I get one, one I okay that sounds fine I yes. don't know I don't know how you like it so I don't know either <laughs> <laughs> we are finally headed home we got our sandwiches I'm actually getting ready to go get a haircut it's about a 20 minute walk from our hotel so I gotta get home and shower and head straight there uh, I like it kind of how it is, but just bring it down, just kind of down to skin here, and then just kind of fade up. I just finished my haircut at this place called Tony Figaro's here in Sorrento. It was a great experience, family-run business since 1965. His grandpa opened up the shop here in Sorrento and it's been open since. Getting ready to head back to the apartment and pick up Ashley and we'll probably go grab some food here soon. We came to the little restaurant down by the pier by our hotel. Very, very convenient. Our hotel is literally right there. We got some of the house wine. So you get about half a liter for eight euro and it comes in a nice little, what's this called? It comes in a, what's it called? homemade pasta with seafood and look how thick these noodles are. I can just picture them rolling the dough in the back. It has like a butter herb sauce on it with some parsley I believe on top. But these noodles are so thick and chewy in a good way. Like you have to chew them but they're like al dente in the center. Very delicious. I'm excited to crack all these muscles open. I got a Diavolo pizza, which is like a spicy salami with mozzarella and marinara. It is fresh out of the oven and hot. And this is my first pizza in all of Italy, and I am so excited. Mm. The tomato is really good. Lemon. 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 Yes. Yes. We went right across the street over here to get some gelato. We ate right there, we right there. I got lemon tonight since we are in Sorrento and this area of Italy is very well known for their lemons. And it looks more like a sorbet than a gelato. It's not very creamy looking. Look how clear this water is. You can see this stone thing so Ooh, far down. Fish. You see all these little sparkles? These are fish. Little tiny minnow fish. I just cannot get over how clear this water looks. You can see everything in it. It's so clear. I think that's gonna conclude our night. We're so full. <laughs> full of food, full that's of gelato. Like a theme. We'll just run around all day and be starving. It's like you just run all day 
and get sunburned even though or you kayak all try day. not to yeah no no like yeah like yeah. you just do stuff all day you're so busy out in the sun and then you eat a bunch of carbs because it's italy and you have to enjoy all things italy which is carbs and then you go fall asleep on your extremely comfy bed. Yeah, it's been a great day, and we are ready for bed. I think in the next video you'll see us either in Positano or Capri. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. We have the gelato giggles. We got the gelato gigs over here. Appreciate you guys watching, and have a good night.